On one of our recent podcasts, Finish Strong, the question was raised, what will you do when you see Jesus? And I know my answer <laughs> was, I don't know. I, I thought I would probably just fall f face flat on the floor, you know, and I, I, don't, I don't know. I would be so overwhelmed and because uh, you feel, would you be ashamed, happy? Um, I just don't know. I just would probably just break down crying. But I want to talk to you about that today in your morning cup of inspiration. You know, it's interesting because we all have different things that we say, we, know, we want to ask Jesus someday. But what about when we first see him? I was reading in, in the book of Revelations this morning. And over in the, the chapter one, the first verse, um, it talks about when John, when he was ascended into heaven there, was seeing all that was going on. He was writing this down in the book of Revelation. And what he says in verse 17 is, when I saw him, I fell at his feet like a dead man. And he placed his right hand on me saying, do not be afraid. I am the first and the last. And in verse 18, it says, and the living one, and I was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. And I had the keys of death and of Hades. Boy, when I read that, I think, okay, he was gonna, John, John, who was you know, the, the disciple Christ loved, had his head on, on, on Christ's chest at the Last Supper. I mean, it was just up against him, but yet, he said, I'd fall flat on my face in front of him. But what did Christ say to him? Do not be afraid. Boy, no matter what we've ever done, no matter what we've ever said or felt or thought, God says, do not be afraid. He loves us. It's just up to us to ask him into our lives. See, John's breath is taken away at the sight of Christ the first time he sees him. Now, after the ascension into heaven. I think the one thing that really struck me too, though, was that he said, I was dead. And behold, I am alive forevermore, and I have the keys of death and of Hades. Which means we don't have to fear. He freed us from death. He freed us from hell he freed us from having to go to hell and he did that on the cross for you and for me so remember that today with all that's going around do not fear don't be afraid Christ loves us he'll protect us he'll guide us all we have to do is ask him into our lives and he's there for you he's there for me God bless you, everyone. Look forward to seeing you again for another morning cup of inspiration. Have a wonderful day.